प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड नेपाल्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर पुष्पा कमाल दहल प्रचंडा हेल्ड बायोलेटरल टॉक्स एट हैदराबाद हाउस Earlier in the day, Prime Minister Dahil paid tribute at Rajghat in Delhi. The primary goal is to further strengthen the bonds of friendship and cooperation between the two nations. This meeting will be an opportunity to discuss the comprehensive range of issues that shape the multifaceted relationship between India and Nepal, such as energy, connectivity, and trade. Sudan's army has suspended talks over a truce and humanitarian access which has raised concerns about escalating conflict. The discussions with rival paramilitary forces in Jeddah to protect civilians began in early May, but ceasefires were repeatedly violated. The ongoing war has displaced 1.4 million people with over 350,000 seeking refuge in neighboring countries. Reportedly 60 children trapped in an orphanage in Sudan's capital lost their lives amidst the relentless fighting over the past 6 weeks. Union Home Minister Amit Shah announced a pro panel under a retired judge that will look into Manipur violence. Six cases pertaining to the violence will be investigated by the CBI. Shah warned against any further violence and said that strict action will be taken against any miscreant who causes it. and asked everyone to surrender arms Manipur governor Anusuya Yuki will head a peace committee with members of the civilian society to stop the violence Spanish football club Real Madrid has been given the honor of the most valuable football club second time in a row according to Forbes notably it is ahead of the English club Manchester United according to the official website of Real Madrid This prestigious publication states in its report that our club achieved a 19% increase in value compared to last year. India has surpassed expectations when it comes to GDP growth. Defying forecasts, the country has recorded a growth of 6.1% in the fourth quarter of the fiscal year 2022-23. This led to a yearly growth rate of 7.2%, solidifying India's position as Asia's third largest economy. Amazon is set to revolutionize its warehousing operations by developing AI technology across a dozen of its largest warehouses. The use of artificial intelligence will screen orders for damage before they are shipped to customers, reducing the occurrence of damaged goods and speeding up the picking and packing processes.